Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Water your own grass. And I mean that, water your own grass. Now, recently I saw a meme, and I've seen variations of this meme, even before there were memes over the years. It was in, it, in general, in general, the saying is, instead of uh, thinking the other, somebody's, the other grass is greener, water your own grass. And I'm saying, what do you own grass? Because I'm going to tell you what with people. And that's that's many of us. That is many of us, one way or the other. We've gone through it. I've gone through it a few times. You thinking somebody else got it better than you. You looking over, like, hey, okay, allegorically, you looking over there, over at their yard thinking, oh, man, that grass is green. Look how green that grass is. It's perfect. And then you're looking at your own grass. It, it's not as good. It's a little brown. Got some spots in it. Shoot. And you be thinking, look, I want to go over there and everything. And you know, and it happens in a lot of cases. But you ain't thinking, why don't I just fix my grass up? <laughs> you know, why don't I just water my grass, get some seeds, whatever. And, you know, fix your stuff up. Don't worry about it. No matter how somebody else's thing works or how, how good the situation is, you don't know the whole story. It might look great to you. But if you, okay, using that uh, allegory of the grass, you might go over there and find out that ain't real grass. That person put down some artificial turf or something. Oh, uh, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't know what, or they might have had to go through a whole lot to get it, and it, it could be a thousand things. It's like a, a good, a, like I've heard that analogy before when I've heard about uh, people breaking up from a very good mate because they think they can get another one, like they thinking the grass is greener, and then they go get that other mate, and the mate doesn't look as good, or treats them worse, so then they back to. Oh, wow, maybe I should have, like, worked on my relationship. Or thinking your situation is so bad, you know, or it it could be like you have a great job, but, you know, somebody else look like they're doing better and everything. You're like, well, I don't want this job. I'm going to work over there. But then you work over there, and it's not to your – it doesn't fit who you are. It's it's so many ways. See, one of the problems many people have is – they're looking outside of themselves. They don't have confidence in what they have. You know, they so busy looking at stuff instead of just building up what they had. You know, and I, I'm going to tell you what. Yes, I've had, personally, I've had experiences where I thought something else was good. But then at the same time, I had experiences where I thought somebody else might have had it better. But then I stopped and looked at my own circumstances. And I was just like, wait a minute. This ain't that bad. Let me fix something here and there. It's like, boom, boom. And all of a sudden, that other person looking at your grass. Now, I wouldn't like, you know, of course, it's not good to look at grass at all, but you don't want to be yourself. You don't want to be in a situation where you're envious or you jealous or you think something better. Because I'm going to tell you what, no matter how another situation looks, you don't know the whole story. Because there are a lot of situations, there's a lot of people. You see the outside, but the reality is, and I've talked about masks several times. They could have just a great mask on. And indeed, in some things, people could be just straight up lying. You could see a married couple thinking, and they give they give the world the impression everything is so great. They don't argue or anything like that. You know, they look so perfect. They just totally lovey-dovey in public. And then you're looking at your own relationship, and y'all have some real issues, like, you know, real couples do, which is nothing wrong with that, because that means that both people are thinking and they're both growing. So, you know, you think, oh, yeah, they're great, they're great, but you don't see behind closed doors. These two people don't sleep in the same bedroom. You don't see that behind closed doors. They don't speak to each other. You don't see anything. Now, that's not to say it can't be perfect behind closed doors. Because here's another angle. Say you do see that grass, the uh, grass on the other side is greener. Okay. All right. And say that it's legitimate. Their situation is legitimate. The job is great. The relationship is great. All right. Then you know what you need to work on. You still work on yourself. You still work water your own grass, regardless. 
In fact, when you see somebody's grass is greener, then that gives you a goal to work on when it's legit. Like I said, you still don't know. So regardless whether whether the grass is legitimately green or some fake green, shit, they could have spray painted it or something, you still work on your own. You still get in your yard. You still get in your situation, and you scrape away. You, you do what you have to do. And you do it happily because I'm going to tell you what. One of the things people do is they look everywhere. They look everywhere for something. You know, there was a story I saw in um, a famous book, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice by Dennis Kimbrough. And it, what Dennis Kimbrough did was finish a manuscript that the legendary Napoleon, Napoleon Hill, the author of Think and Grow Rich, had started writing before his death that was specifically aimed at black America. Now, in the story, uh, Dennis Kimbrough told a story about the acres of diamonds. And that story came from, I think, someone in the um, 1800s. I think a minister was telling it. It was... Uh, it was this guy looking for, had some land, but he was looking for diamonds. He was looking for all of his riches. And, you know, and he didn't feel like he had anything on his own land. So he sold the land and went all over the place looking for those diamonds, looking for those riches, and didn't find anything. He didn't find anything and eventually killed himself, you know? either killed himself or just died uh, broke or something. I forgot what it was at this point. But whatever the case, he didn't succeed. So, But remember the property he had at first. He sold the property. The person who got that property, instead of like looking everywhere for it, just started exploring the property and found an acre of diamonds right there on the property. So the first guy, I mean, he had the riches right there. Everything was right there. But he was looking outside of himself. Look, you want to water your own grass, your riches are right there. Everything you already got, every single person got it within them to do the things they need to do in life. You've already been blessed to do that. Every single person. You don't have to look outside of yourself for anything. Everything is right there. Everything is right there. So water your own grass. Shoot, dig on your own property. You probably have diamonds. Dig within yourself. That's what that means. Look within yourself. Everything you need is within yourself. I want y'all to really think about that, okay? So, water that grass. Get that sprinkler out and everything. (laughs) Take your time. Go in there and weed. Get all those weeds out and everything. You know, cut it regularly. Do what you get that uh, edger. But take care of your own side. Don't worry about everybody else. If somebody got something good, if not, you know, just learn from them. Just say, oh, okay, that's what you got. Okay, let me build my stuff. That's how you want to roll. So anyway, that's all I got. I want everybody to keep rising. Peace and blessings.